Okay. Hey, it's Claudio playing Squeaker in three. Seems that uh, I don't know. The recording's a little unusual. When I start it up, there's like a stutter. I wonder what that's gonna actually do to the video. I haven't actually. I did a small test, but things may be a little off. <laughs> Gosh, I'm busy, busy. But it's an honor to help our chief. I need to keep pressing all the buttons. Oh, okay. I can run with the stick and not have to press triangle. Well, that's a lot easier. What about uh, L3 and R3? I don't seem to do anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, the stick's a lot better than the triangle way. I did not. I've always liked cooking, but it's best when you have somebody to cook for. Hey Hugo, you know it's great to have a wife who cooks. Man, I'm really happy I married her. That was a foreigner. The artisans are excellent. I'm glad I came here all the way from Chisha. Chisha? Hey Hugo, you taking good care of your sword? Bring it in anytime you want me to fix it. How much money we got? We got 1000 P. Cost 600 to upgrade. Sounds like a good purchase. So attack 29, attack 41. Well, that was a big increase. I saved my 400, possibly for items. I can't see where I am. <laughs> there I am. Ayla. I need some different weapons, but it's hard to find good ones. We have to remain armed at all times. You never know when the war will start again. Uh, I can't get around this guy. Kidding me? Oh no, there's another one in the way. Okay, that's fairly annoying. There we go. Well, once I get back there, will I be able to get back? Uh oh. Really? <laughs> I don't think there's anything important back there anyway. Did I? Well, okay. He's over here now, so... Take this opportunity. Size. Swords. They're either crosses or... Uh... What Don used. Tonfa. My dad's gonna take me to Duck Village sometime soon. I heard it's full of water. I wonder if that's true. Makes sense. Oh, the certain is nice. Look at the way it curves here. Defensive gear vendor. We've got a good selection of protective gear. I'm buy a bandana, which is worse. Oh, and these things are just really expensive. How many slots do I have open? I have one. Rare item, spelt of strength. So I could buy gloves. It's just one defense. I will pass on that. Please take a look around. Medicine C and 
kindness drops. Medicine D, 100 HP. You take care, the meadows and woods are full of danger. If you see anything bad, run as fast as you can. So I'm thinking red houses are important. Or of note, okay. Gray houses are just things to explore. Still working on that armor, Jiba? Oh, Jimba. Greetings, Hugo. I have to say, this armor's been through quite a lot. Harsh elements and all. It needs proper care. You've never mentioned how you got this Zexan armor in the first place. I acquired it from a past acquaintance. Give it up, Hugo. He won't even tell me, his own brother. All he ever says is that it's from a soldier he knew long ago. I speak the truth, Lulu. And when you're old enough to understand everything, I'll explain more of the story. Oh, fox dung. Just when am I supposed to be old enough to understand? When you realize how not grown up you are now, quack. <laughs> Nobody asked you. Okay, you don't have to tell us. But if you're trying to protect it from the elements, why do you keep it outdoors? Our mother can't stand the smell of iron. It reminds her of a cruel past. Makes sense, I guess. So, yeah, the people from the city-state in the last game had a bunch of attacks against these guys, I believe. And I think we're responsible for basically Hugo's grandfather's death. Uh, Hugo... Don't look that way. Everyone knows what great warriors my other older brothers were. My brother Jimba is no less worthy. Loose. Lucy? What's going on out here? Hugo. I might have known. Scrawny as ever, I see. Ha! You say that every time you see him. Obviously, he has more important matters to think about than food. Well, Hugo. Are you ready for our talk now? Sure, mother. What's this all about? I know you're aware of the truce negotiations with Zexan. The next step is for you to deliver an official message to Vene del Zexe. Uh, the trip may take about a week. The Zexan capital. Official message? You want me to go? Uh, what's more important? <laughs> uh, let's say official message. It is for the early negotiations towards a peace agreement. The Zexan Council has been informed a messenger will come. Okay, I get to do the other ones. The Zexan Capital? Yes, you must deliver the message directly to the head of the Zexan Council. The Zexan capital is nothing like Grassland. The streets and the walls are all made of stone. When your duties are complete, see what you can of the city before returning. You want me to go? You are the son of a Grassland clan chief. If not you, then who? Zexan must see Grassland as a political equal, so sending a clan chief is unacceptable. By birth, you are the best choice for a trusted official messenger. Can I count on you? I'm up to it. Ha! That's not surprising. He's just like his mother, brave as a jaguar. 
Good, I'm proud of you. Have a safe and successful journey. Let's not forget that I, the bravest of the Duck Clan, will accompany you. I want to go too. Can I please, Mother? That's a bad idea. Spirits, no. Hugo is going as a respective representative of Karaya. How do you fit in? Just fine, thank you. Even when Hugo's busy, I'll still have Fubar and Sergeant Joe around to keep me safe. They're not playing around, my child. This is a serious journey. Only if you promise to stay out of trouble. Yes, oh yes. Is it okay with you, Hugo? Can I go? Can I? Uh, well, <laughs> personally. Uh, why not? I'll keep you safe. Uh, I'll keep you safe, Lulu. I'll keep us both from harm. I promise you won't regret this, Hugo. I promise, I promise. Indeed, let us pray for no regrets. I guess you've made up your minds, then. I hate to see you go, Lulu, but I can't stop you. Hugo, you should start getting ready. You leave first thing in, uh, first thing tomorrow morning. One other thing, Hugo, Lulu, learn well what a Zexan looks like. Not every helmet seen from afar is being worn on a Zexan head. Got it. Sergeant, thank you in advance for all your assistance. Uh, no problem, any time. You take letter to Zexan. Let's explore these last couple houses. It's great to have visitors. You learn so much from them. It's a duck. Oh, Hugo, it's been a long time. Want to stay here? What do you say? Oh. Got my own house. Oh, hey, need any medicine? It didn't fit into my bag. Do you want it? Oh, yeah. Free medicine. Heck yeah. Wait, right, let's see what else he's got. What a wonderful dinner. But I stayed too long, and now I must get going. I might just head for the Great Hollow. The Great Hollow. I think that's where the lizard men are. So this is Lulu's house. Watch out for yourself, okay? When you get back, be sure to tell me all about the Nadel Zexe. I have trouble saying that. I know it's a lot to ask, Hugo, but do take good care of Lulu. If he whines, there's no need to be nice to him. Hugo, hurry up and get your stuff ready for tomorrow. Oh, okay, I'm leaving tomorrow. leaves town. Probably not. Alright everybody, we're not going to get anything ready for tomorrow by standing, by just standing here. Yeah. The duck stopped me. Stupid duck. Oh, the duck! Is he gone? Oh cool, I can do this. Uh, no, no duck noise. Oh, I already miss him. Like, yeah, I got a real duck, but that's not as cool. Got a problem? <clears throat> Don't you think you'd better better start preparing for the trip now? I've done like one and a half episodes, and my throat is already starting to hurt. I suppose so. Just shows how out of practice I am. I can't wait to get started. See you tomorrow, fellow travelers. Don't oversleep or we'll leave without you. 
Must make sure I pack everything. What do you think, Hugo? Are ten different outfits enough? Hey, what's everyone doing here? We'll return in short course. We'll certainly pray for your quick return and protection along the way. Lulu, aren't you ready yet? Hold on, I think I overpacked. Oh my goodness, sometimes I get these chills that my mic isn't on. <laughs> it just, it happens randomly. Better safe than sorry, did you pack medicine too? Yes, yes. You keep acting like we're going to get hurt or something. Huh. Well, how do we know what a Zexan will do? They may look friendlier than they are. Who knows? Yes, yes, I'll watch out. No wandering on my own. No strange food or drink. Anything else? Don't even ask. Hugo, your experience of the world beyond Grassland is not as important to me as your safe return. Oh. May my Hugo walk with the divine protection of the earth and wind spirits. I'll be fine. Well then, I'm off. Uh, I just say, well then, I'm off. I know, somehow you'll be fine. Hee <laughs> hee, divine protection. I hope there's enough to go around, haha. -ha. The same goes for you too. Arr. May my Lulu walk with the divine protection of the earth and wind spirits. Starting right now. <laughs> and we're free. So, what do we do first? Uh... How far can we explore? That's a good question. Okay, there is an invisible line, and you can kind of see it just barely. Maybe. It's kind of hard to tell from that map. Now, there is stuff to explore. Hidden secrets that the camera keeps out of vision. Hugo, I have a favor to ask of you. Sure, what is it? Take this. Take this to the Lightfellow family in Venet del Zexe. What is this? All I can say is that it once belonged to a brave Zexan soldier who died long ago. When you give it to his family, tell them that he died heroically. The soul of a warrior. I'll take good care of it. Is he really the one that should be given that message? I trust you will do so. Consider it delivered. Pentacle. When this is delivered, my biggest bur burden will be lifted. Hurry. May the Divine Ones protect you. Thank you. Farewell for now. And Lulu, do nothing that would sadden her mother. I'll be fine. You'll see. So long, brother. But it kind of like slides backwards a bit. Okay, we're on the world map. So, we can go to Plainamur, Brass Castle, Zexen Forest, and Venet del Zexe. This way, Plainamur North, and Duck Village. Kinda tempted to go off track. Let's take a look at the map. If there's any I'm just pushing all the buttons to see if something expands. Okay. Uh what do I do? Do I go off the beaten path? 
right off the bat just take a wrong turn? Why not? I like to explore. So, how far can we go off the path here? It's like a pretty good distance. You can't really tell exactly how far you can go. And our first fight! An arachnivore! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's retreat, auto, fight. I, t I tell the team to attack together. It's kind of cool. Hmm. One sixty-five. Ow! We both got damaged and poisoned. Oh no, you get skill. You don't even have to level up. You just acquire it. All tree beads. Is that food? Soak in the bath with this and see what happens. And we're poisoned. <laughs> Let's see how much damage this poison will do to me while I'm walking around. 92. Still poison on it, yeah. It's done about 11, no, 9, 11, yeah. <laughs> Damage. Blade bunnies. Lulu. Probably should have spent more time looking at it. How long does the poison last? Thirty-nine. That hurt. Maybe it's a good idea to clear poison immediately. It's a lot of levels. Okay, so uh, it shows very briefly how much stuff goes up. Man, that poison's still on me. I think I need to clear it with antitoxin. Oh. Okay, this is one of the random kind of sub-bosses, wild boar, I'm pretty sure. There's like a chance you'll get like a stronger monster, and this is one of them. You can tell by the music. So let's not hold back. 0.8 damage and a line. Put it to sleep. And it shows in the bottom there how long it'll take to accomplish. Like within the turn. Yeah, let's try and put him to sleep. Oh, it shows his turn? One second, I'll look at this again. Oh no, uh, Fubar is just going to be defending because Hugo's attacking or casting magic. What do we got here? Kindness drops, breath of ice. 
Okay. Target, foe, and allies in an area. Let's do this. And I guess Lulu just defaulted to attacking. Oh, he got it interrupted. Now, does Sleep Wind affect our whole group? Now that he's in the middle. It didn't seem to, but it didn't work either. Alright, let's just kill it. Stunned. I wonder, now if I heal those two, we'll heal them both. Because, you know, they're about to die. Oh yeah, okay, it heals both of them. It seems. Joe took a big hit there. There we go, fully healed now. Though I think we're still poisoned. No, it's finally wore off. Oh, he's berserking. Ow! Jeez. There we go. Almost gored poor Lulu. Oh, lots of levels. Nice. Cool. Uh, so I was basically running around looking for, like, treasure. I don't think there is any. So, we're just going to continue to Duck Village and heal up there. I hope Lulu will be alright. The pony's hairstyle is adorable. Definitely getting stronger. Oh, he's still alive. Uh, oh crap. Oops. <laughs> well, that sucks. So, does Lulu come back from the dead? Uh, yep, he's back at one health. I think the only negative side effect is he lost experience there. Uh, let's For one pair, okay. It's kind of cool. Duck Village, and I'm going to end the episode here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Later.